Hi, for this recording, we are given a linear transformation T from R3 to R3 such that T of XYZ equal to 2X plus 3Y minus Z, 5X plus Y plus 4Z, and X plus Y. We are going to write down the metric representation A of T with respect to standard basis in domain and codomain. The domain is R3 and codomain is also R3. And the standard basis in this case refer to E1 in R3, 1, 0, 0, E2, 0, 1, 0, and E3, 0, 0, 1 as a column metric. So now, let's refer to David Lay's linear algebra and its application, section 1.9, page 99, column 10, says that if you have a linear transformation, then there is a unit metric A such that Tx equals Ax for all x in Rn. In fact, A is the m by m metric whose j column is a vector Tej. That is the image of EJ. So now I'm going to rewrite the transformation in the column form. T or XYZ equal to this expression. So in order to find the metric A, I need to find T or E1, which is T of 1, 0, 0. That means X equal to 1, Y equal to 0, X equal to 0. I get 2. 5, 1. I need to find T of E2, which is the image of 0, 1, 0. That means X0, Y1, Z0. I'll get 3, 1, 1. After putting in X equal to 0, Y equal to 1, Z equal to 0. And then T E3 which is the image of 0, 0, 1 under T. That means x equal to 0, y equal to 0, z equal to 1. I'll get minus 1 for 0. The metric A is given by TE1, TE2, TE3, and that is equal to 2, 5, 1, 3, 1, 1, minus 1, 4, 0. This is the metric. That's the end of the recording. Thanks for watching.